Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this very interesting integral. Here, uh, 0 to infinity, natural log of 1 over x to the n, natural log of 1 over x to the n, natural log of, we know this is repeated infinitely many times. Okay, first, uh, I'm going to take uh, this, uh, this all function is equal to u so uh, we can write uh, u is equal to here natural log of 1 over here we have x to the n times now here we know natural log of this function we know again u so we can write here u now we can isolate the 1 over x to the n times u so 1 over x to the n times u is equal to e to the u okay uh, then i'm going to multiply by u so we have 1 over x to the n is equal to u times e to the u okay then what can we do okay uh, we know if we have x times e to the x is equal to k we know here x is equal to lambda w function of k so uh, we can use lambda w function therefore we can write here now this is similar to this equation so u is equal to lambda w function of 1 over x to the n now our integral i i am going to take this is equal to i so we can write uh, i is equal to integral from 0 to infinity we know uh, this is equal to u so okay uh, u dx but we know u is equal to w of 1 over x to the n dx okay then how to evaluate uh, this integral okay i'm going to take a substitution we can take t is equal to w of 1 over x to the n now i'm going to isolate the 1 over x to the n so we know inverse process so here 1 over x to the n is equal to t times e to the t now we can isolate the x to the n so x to the n is equal to 1 over t times e to the t then uh, x is equal to here e to the t i am going to move to the numerator so e to the minus t so e to the minus t but here n power so if you isolate the x we know uh, here minus t over n power over t to the 1 over n power then uh, we can differentiate so dx is equal to now we can apply uh, quotient rule so here t to the 1 over n square so we can write t to the 2 over n now rewrite this function t to the 1 over n the derivative of e to the minus t over n we know e to the minus t over n times minus 1 over n minus now rewrite this function this function so e to the minus t over n now derivative of t to the 1 over n we know 1 over n times t to the 1 over n minus 1 okay then uh, we can simplify here uh, we know minus here also minus so we can take minus sign as a common factor and here in the denominator we have uh, okay then uh, as a next step i am going to divide it by t to the 2 n so th this part we can divide by t to the 2 n so uh, we know this t to the 1 over n get cancelled so here we have only t to the uh, 1 over n here n we can write in the numerator so n times t to the 1 over n and now here we have uh, e to the minus t over n uh, then here we know plus now i'm going to 
uh, divide uh, this part by t to the 2 over n so here we can write uh, again here we have e to the minus t over n here we have n uh, so here n then t to the 1 over n minus 1 you can write t to the 1 over n times t to the minus 1 so t to the minus 1 we can write here t and t to the 1 over n get cancelled so here we have t to the 1 over n okay uh, here sorry d t well uh, then uh, we can isolate uh, to our integral so we can write now i is equal to uh, now integral from 0 to infinity now we should change the boundaries so uh, we know x approaches to 0 lower boundary x approaches to 0 uh, 1 over x to the n 1 over x to the n remember that uh, 1 over x to the n and also t times e to the t approaches to infinity so uh, lower limit infinity and uh, upper limit when x approaches to infinity we know 1 over x to the n also t times e to the t approaches to 0 so now limit uh, infinity to 0 but here we have minus sign so uh, we can change upper limit and uh, lower limit so we have now uh, limit 0 to infinity again 0 to infinity when we change the limit this minus sign get cancelled and here uh, w of 1 over x to the n we know uh, w of 1 over x to the n is equal to t so here t uh, times dx is equal to uh, this part without minus sign so uh, we can write here e to the minus t over n over n times t to the 1 over n plus e to the minus t over n over n times t times t to the 1 over n t t okay then we can split this integral into two different integrals so we can write uh, i is equal to 0 to infinity now here uh, we can multiply by t so here t here 1 over n so we know t to the 1 minus 1 over n times e to the minus t over n here n is a constant so 1 over n outside of the integral sign here dt here also n is a constant so plus 1 over n integral from 0 to infinity uh, here t here t get cancelled so t to the minus 1 over n times e to the minus t over n t t okay uh, i'm going to take uh, this integral is equal to j1 and this integral is equal to j2 so uh, now we are going to evaluate uh, j1 uh, we know j1 is equal to 0 to infinity t to the 1 minus 1 over n e to the minus t over n uh, d t okay then uh, to evaluate this integral i'm going to use a substitution u substitution so we can take y is equal to t over n because uh, I got uh, this substitution. I'm going to uh, convert to uh, gamma function. So uh, y is equal t to the n. Then uh, we know dy is equal to one over n dt. We can plug in uh, limit. We know also sorry zero to infinity. So zero to infinity. Now e to the minus t over n. Uh, we know e to the minus t over n. So minus y. Uh, now t is equal to y times n raised to the 1 minus 1 over n power and dt dt we know n times dy okay uh, let us uh, simplify a little bit here n to the 1 minus 1 over n uh, here n we know constant so uh, here n to the 1 minus 1 over n we can write n times n to the minus 1 over n n n n square 
so n square n to the minus 1 over n we can write uh, nth root of n and here integral from 0 to infinity um, e to the minus y here uh, y raised to the 1 minus 1 over n dy okay now uh, we know the definition of gamma function this is the definition of gamma function gamma of c is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 dx so uh, now we have uh, this format so uh, but here c minus 1 so we should find the c uh, so we know 1 minus 1 over n is equal to c minus 1 so c is equal to 2 minus 1 over n therefore uh, we can write uh, our integral j1 is equal to sorry j1 is equal to n square over nth root of n times gamma of 2 minus uh, 1 over n okay then uh, we have we have to evaluate j2 so uh, j2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity t to the minus 1 over n times e to the minus t over n uh, here d t okay uh, we can uh, use same substitution so we can write j2 is equal to 0 to infinity uh, here again e to the minus y y n raised to the minus 1 over n times n dy same process uh, here now we have n over nth root of n integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus y y to the minus 1 over n dy okay now again we can use the gamma function so here gamma of 1 minus 1 over n so we know our integral i is equal to 1 over n times j1 plus 1 over n times j2 so 1 over n times j1 we know n square over nth root of n times gamma of 2 minus 1 over n uh, plus here j2 j2 is equal to again n uh, sorry n over nth root of n nth root of n uh, gamma of 1 minus 1 over n okay then we know this n uh, get cancelled so uh, we have um, 1 over n nth root of n we know common factor so 1 over nth root of n times n times gamma of 2 minus 1 over n plus gamma of 1 minus 1 over n okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching